Okay, so okay, so are you a setter or closer? We'll start there. Setter. Okay, do you want to be a setter forever? No. And it's okay if you do. That wasn't like a trick question. <laughs> no, I would like to transition into a closer, but since I have limited sales experience, I'm yeah. doing the setter role to get me in the door and get my feet wet. Gotcha. Okay. Um, how long until you want to become a closer and start making like serious dough? Um, I'm going to give myself probably about a, about a year or two. Okay, so what right there, you noticed something? You didn't actually answer my question. You answered a different question about what you thought was as long as it would take in reality. That's not what I asked. I said, how long, like make this shit up right now. How long would you like to say, or actually not, how long would you say it will take you or you wanna be, if you had a choice in the matter, that you wanna start closing and making good money? How long? In the next year. Okay, thank you. So, <laughs> that, so now, is that the minimum? Or if you could do it faster, you'll do it faster? If I could do it faster, I'll do it faster. Okay, what if I told you that within a month working with me, I can get you to be closing as effectively, not as nearly as my level, but like pretty damn good. How would, what'd you say about that? Would that be something you're interested in? Or you're like, no, that's too much work probably. Or no, that's not realistic, Alex. Or no, I don't want to do that. Or no, I want to take my time. Or what's there for you? I want to get there fast. And if you can mentor me and, and help me get there, then yeah. Well, I can. The question is, are you willing to perform and deliver those kind of results in 30 days? Because it's going to take a lot from you. Yeah. Okay. So right now, right, this is on recording. You're telling me that whatever I tell you to do, whatever I tell you to work on, whatever I tell you to practice on, you give me your word and your word is who you are, that you'll do whatever it takes. Is that right or no? Yeah, so I can become a, a closer in this RCA program. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, I'm dead serious. I'm not like bullshitting you right now. I could do that if you're willing to put the work in. But, yeah. but, but here's the thing though, right? It's yeah. not gonna be my responsibility for that to happen, right? Because it's your life. You right. have to be a demand from me. Like every day, you should be messaging me, being around me as often as you can scheduling up mocks as often as I'm available. Like that's what it looks like if you demonstrate what it looks like to be someone that in 30 days, like no shit, you could be closing already. Like, and I'm not saying like at a supremely high level, but like pretty fucking good to get started for sure. And you could develop that over time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now look, that's something I'm gonna offer you right now. And look, right, this is free. I can't solicit in fucking RCA. So I can't charge you anything I want to, right? Because that right. has, because that has no integrity, and I have integrity in my life, and that's how I live my life by integrity. So this is all free, right? Whenever I have time, I'll make it for you. We'll do calls like this. I'll give you homework and stuff to do. So here's my proposal, right? I can okay. do that for you, and I have no problem making time for you because I do have a lot of time in my day. Believe it or not, that's how I design my life. But you have to be willing, open, and coachable to listen and take on everything I say to do. Okay, inside of the context of you being a closer in 30 days. Now, is that something you really want? And if not, it's okay too. Seriously, I just want to gauge, you know, where you are in your life. I really want to be the best setter or closer that I can be. I am extremely nervous because I've wow. never done anything like this. But oh. Okay. I'm willing to, you know, get in there. Good for you, right? Yeah. And, it's, and it does start with the willingness. It really, really does. So now here's what we could do, right? I mean, if you want to be a little more grounded here, because obviously this is what you're doing anyway, you know, mm -hmm. we focus on becoming masterful at setting. And I promise you, once you could develop that skill, it then easily translates to closing too. It really does. Okay. Because all closing is really is just literally doing what you would be doing in setting anyway, 
Well, you're just giving them a price, right? <laughs> and you're telling them yeah. to pay. It's honestly really the same shit, to be honest here. Now, at least in, but now, I have to be responsible for what I just said. The way that I sell, and by the way, Kirsten, okay, in my company, I am the number one closer here every month. Like I know how to close extremely effectively. Okay. So everything I, and by the way, just to give you some background, okay, I told you I've been working with, and I still am to this day, a world class. Yes. They operate around the world. They're known for this. A world class, insane performance high performance industry and company. Okay. I've done their courses. I've done their, I've led their programs before I've coached their programs before. Okay. We, I am masterful at this, like no bullshit. I really am. And what I'm telling you is that as like what I'm coaching you on, literally every word I say to you seriously is intentional. I'm not blowing smoke up your ass. I'm not making shit up. Everything yeah. I'm telling you is coming from a 40-year study and research and development into what elevates human performance because that's what my company, not the, not, remember, I don't work for them. I just work with them, right? That's what, they, that's what they've done to become a world-class organization, right? They've done the work. They've done the research. They've done the investigation. And they've discovered, hey, this is what works for everybody. Now, here's the crazy thing, right? Mm -hmm. Is that what they teach, right? What, they, what, I, what I got from them right, is in the world of ontology, which is the world of beingness, okay? So how I coach you, I promise you for a fact, is going to be completely different than you've ever been coached for in your entire life. Simply because I don't give a shit what you say. It doesn't matter in performance. What I'm listening to actually is what is behind the words that are coming out of your mouth. Who are you being about it? What are you committed to? What's the intention or the agenda of the conversation? Yes, I am skillful enough to listen to those things and identify them and recognize them. That's what I'm listening for. You could seriously try to sell me a fucking lollipop right now. It doesn't fucking matter. I don't care what you say. I'm listening for what's behind the words and who you're being about it because that is what sells. And that's what, pe and that's what connects to people and that's what closes people is things like that, okay? Okay. Cool. So we have 20 minutes left because I have a call at 11.45. So let's just go, okay? So look, so listen, I got it, right? You're well, no, mm -hmm. do whatever it takes, right? To be, let's just, let's just make it more a little clear, right? right. But let's just say you want to be the best fucking closer in RCA. 30 days. Okay? Yeah. Okay. And you're committed to that, right? Like you'll do whatever it takes? Yes. Okay. Whatever the hell I say, homework I say, do, you'll do it? You promise me? Yes. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll see, right? We'll see if right. you demonstrate it over time to actually honor your word, right? But th but thank you for saying that. I, I got that, okay? Now, let's begin. So how long or how long have you been doing mocks for or settings so far? Like, what's your experience in that so far? Um, I've been, this would be my fourth call. Okay. So uh, that is, I'm not that experienced, but working okay. on it. Okay, no problem, no problem. Um, one second here. All right. So, um, go ahead. Okay. So listen, I'm the client. Okay. Um, are you, are you setting for RCA? Yes. Okay, great. All right. So go ahead. Let's go. We got, we got, we got 19 minutes. Okay. <laughs> Hi, is this Alex? Uh, yeah, it's Alex. Hey, Alex, it's Kirsten. How are you today? Yeah, doing pretty good. How are you? That's good. I'm doing well. I'm um, just calling you about the ultimate guide, the high ticket closing that you downloaded, the mm -hmm. one from Cole Gordon. Yeah, I remember. You remember? Okay, cool. Um, I was just reaching out because I was wondering, were you able to access the video and watch it? Oh, uh, yeah, it was actually. Okay. Oh, me, yawning. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, no problem. Um, the other reason is I wanted to get a better understanding of what you were looking to do and maybe see if I could point you in the right direction. Um, do you got a few minutes, like five to 10 minutes to talk? Yeah. Okay, cool. So since you watched the video, Alex, um, what about it did you like? Um, yeah, one second here, sorry. Just on my work right now. No problem.
Um, so you're asking me what did I like about it? Yeah, what did you like about the video? Yeah, yeah. Uh, honestly, I was very enrolled with, um, you know, like making a lot of money, right? Um, you know, mm -hmm. like, like the opportunity available, um, you know, right, being in an industry where there are people like me that want to do well and succeed, you know, those things were very encouraging and very inspiring. Good. Um, is there anything else that appealed to you? Um, I don't know. I mean, what else do you guys offer? <laughs> well, we offer a lot of different things. Like, uh, we have the remote closing. We also have settings. So there are different things that you can, um, different opportunities that you can have within the company. Where do you work now? Um, so by the way, what you just said, I didn't understand any of that. You didn't tell I'm me sorry. about any actual positions. Like, I mean, like what else is available for me? Like, what are some benefits you guys offer? I mean, I don't know. Gotcha. Um, quick question. How how would that be a a good way to answer that? Because as far as Okay, so so we're brick and script, right? So I'll make sure you say that yeah. from now on so it's clear. Yeah, we're brick and script. Okay. Yeah. So when I say benefits, right? Benefits are things. Oh, actually, not even not even benefits. Honestly, this is more of a feature, um, right? It could be things like, well, you're, you know, it could be part of, you know, like you're going to have world class coaching, helping you get better at your job, making more money. You'll be part of a community of people just like you, committed to making money, training, developing themselves, positive, motivated. Those are features that you want to share because those are inspiring, right? That's like shit. I want that. So that's how you would answer it, right? You would share with them the features of the job. That's the, some of the features, right? The community, the Facebook chats, um, coaching, mocking, opportunity to make as much money as you want, no cash, no cash ceiling, income ceiling. Those are all features. And you could definitely totally share those when someone asks you a question like that, okay? Okay. Yeah, because that completely threw me off. <laughs> well, hey, listen. But but great job asking though, right? Because now moving forward, you know how to answer that question. Yeah. Awesome. Great job. Keep going. So what do you do for work currently? Um, I currently work in debt consolidation. So I sell pretty much like debt consolidation programs. Um, you know, people that have like personal debt, I help them consolidate it, you know, pay it off quicker, you know, all that kind of jazz. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So how long have you been doing that? Um, been doing that for about three years now. Three years? Yeah. Okay. So you got a pretty nice groove to it now, huh? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's going pretty well. Okay. Well, that's good. Is there anything that you feel that you would change about it? Uh, yeah, I was, I wish I was making a lot more money for one. I wish my manager wasn't such a tool. And I wish the people I work with, you know, actually like were committed to a success like I am because I, I blow everyone out of the water at this job. Like they don't even come close to my level of performance. Wow. So you don't feel that anyone is on your level and no one wants to go higher with you? Well, it's not a matter of feeling. In reality, my conversion rate is double everyone else. So they are literally, in fact, in reality, not on my level, not even close. So yeah, that's something I wished was different. Gotcha. So mm -hmm. what's that what's that like for you? How does that affect your, your life? Um has it affect my life? Well, it kind of sucks, right? Because I'm not <laughs> I'm not then looking forward to coming to work. Right. If I'm at a place yeah. where boss is a tool, everyone around here like is not performing as well as I do. And I even try to help them. And they just kind of shrug me off. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what are we doing here in your life? <laughs> right? Like, are you yeah. trying to be like a subpar average salesman? Or like, are you trying to like, you know, buy your family a house one day in California, which is mad expensive and take care of your family and go on a vacation? Isn't that what we do here in life? Isn't that what life is for? Not being an average middle class, you know, suffering and da da da. Yeah, you know, that's, that's the I mean, dream. I'll, well, for some people, right? Right. But I guess other people, like, that's not important to them, I guess, because they're not a demand for being as good as I am. How do I know that? Because no one fucking ever asks me, hey, man, 
this is a real story, by the way, Kirsten, in real life. Mm -hmm. How did you go from almost getting fired, Alex, in September with an 11% close rate to now, to now in November with 31 and then December 40.2? No one, literally no one ever asked me how that was possible or how I did it. Why? Because no one fucking cares. They don't. Because if they actually cared, they would have asked me, right? Obviously. Mm -hmm. But they don't care. And to me, it's like the saddest shit ever. Because I'm, because look, I put myself out there with people. We have a group chat. I'm talking to them. I'm like, hey, if anyone wants like a, if anyone wants to listen to one of my calls or whatever, let me know. I will give it to you. I'm available. <laughs> wow. No, so nobody. Literally, trying to no, take no in one. your your knowledge, huh? No one out of twenty five people. No one. So what how long fuck? has that been happening? For months. <laughs> well, well, months? Not, like, since, since October, when this wow. happened. Now, on about you, but isn't that kind of fucking insane to hear that? Yeah, when you want to move forward, you feel stifled and you feel like you can't grow. Well, no, not even that, right? I'm talking about the resignation that people have for getting better in life and making more money. No one gives a fuck about it. Because now, they might say they do, but really, they're full of shit. Because if they were serious, right, they would mm -hmm. fucking message me. They would call me, email me. I am available. I made it very clear when I'm available for coaching. I'm available to help you out. Now, one fucking person reaches out, ever. Riddle me that, Batman. <laughs> so you feel really unappreciated, huh? Not even, no, not even appreciated. I just feel like underutilized. Gotcha. You know, I'm a fucking smoking gun over here and no one uses me. I fucking demand to be used. No one <laughs> uses me. What the fuck is that about, right? It's crazy. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, I'm getting excited here, but like, it's crazy, isn't it? Isn't it like insane? Yeah, you want to be you want to be a tool for for good and help people out, but you feel like they're they're not taking advantage of that opportunity with you. Well, no, understand. So, you keep saying the word feel, and I have no idea why. I don't. It doesn't matter what the fuck I feel. In reality, they're not doing anything. In reality, they are not messaging me. In reality, they're not calling me. They're not texting me. They ain't doing shit. It's a fucking fact. They don't give a shit about their own development, about them making money, period. So, yeah, gotcha. it has me be sad. I'm sad, honestly. I'm sad about it. I'm very concerned about why human beings are like that in my company. Like, what the fuck? Is that like the, the culture of the company, maybe, that has everyone be that way? Yeah, honestly, it probably is. Why? Because in reality, we have zero training development programs here for our agents. Seriously, none. It's non-existent. So maybe that's why, maybe that's why people are turned off to actually developing themselves because it's not in the culture here. I don't know, honestly, but it pisses me the fuck off, as you could tell. Yeah, I can see. Yeah. I, I, really, I really hope we can get you out of that. So what's your goal? <clears throat> uh, my goal is to work with someone that one, gives a fuck about me. My boss isn't a tool. We have a community where people are actually empowering me, probably better than me in sales. Fuck yeah, I want to keep growing. I want to be a billionaire someday. Let's go. You know? And when I put myself out there to help other people, people actually take advantage of it. And you know what? I love that shit, Kirsten. I love feeling good about myself. Seriously, right? Who doesn't? Right. And I love, and listen, and that feeling comes when I help other people get better in sales. I feel good about myself. I'm training, developing myself as well, my coaching abilities when I do it. So it's a fucking win-win. You get better, I get better. We're all fucking winners. That's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Seriously, right? Like, like, that's what I want. And I really care about people. Like, I really fucking do. Seriously, I really do. I yeah. love helping people out. I love seeing them make money. Honestly, if I had to name one thing in my life, no bullshit, that makes me happy more than my family, it's making people money and seeing them be successful. Seriously. To me, that is the most fulfilling fucking thing in my life right now. And I fucking love it. That's beautiful. So, quick question for you. If you found a way to do this, how soon would you be wanting to get there? Like oh. 60, 90 days? 
fuck that shit. Why wait so long? Get me in the door right now. Train me on your product knowledge. Let's fucking go. I'm, I, I want to make money. I want to get my oh, wife a house. Now. Yeah, I want to get my wife a house, my dog a backyard. Fuck this place. They obviously are not committed seriously to developing themselves as a company. We have breakdowns every day in technology that stop me from doing my job. I, Kirsten, I've even offered, I have offered my company to train, develop the agents to be as good as I am in closing. You know what they told me to do? What? They said, okay, thanks. That was it. Oh, uh, well, that sucks. Yeah, like, what the fuck? Like, what? Like, are you trying to be a broke company someday and go bankrupt? What the fuck is wrong with you, right? Yeah, you need more people that'll be able to close at your rates if you want to be able to grow and make more money. Exact right. Thank you. You're like a fucking, you know, relatively smart human being, right? To get that. <laughs> apparently, they're, apparently they're not because they have a fucking lethal weapon at their disposal. Who's fucking begging almost Lee, at some point begging to fucking be a sales trainer for them. And what do they say? Okay. Thanks. Like, what the fuck? Like, seriously, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Do you not care about making money? Do you not care? Like, do you not value your employees at all? And honestly, you know what that communicates, Kirsten, to me? What? Is that they don't. They don't fucking care about me at all. I'm a fucking low totem pole motherfucker who doesn't know shit about anything. I'm full of shit. My word means nothing. And fuck this guy. We're going to keep doing things our way because we like doing things our way. That's seriously what that communicated to me when they say, okay, thanks. So honestly, fuck them. I'm moving on. You know what? That sounds like you definitely need a change right now. And I really appreciate you sharing all that with me because, I mean, you didn't have to share that with me. Um. But I do have a couple of thoughts, if you don't mind. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Well, we work with a ton of people who have situations just like yours and who are looking to make opportunities and grow and get money. And I really think RCA will be a really good fit for what you're looking to do because just talking to you for this short amount of time, you're determined, you're skilled, you care about what you do and actually helping people grow. And I mean, we've had people that have made 10K very easily. So I know that the no cap that we have available on income, I know you, you would be able to really reach that billionaire status quickly with your determination. So. I think the next best thing to do is get you connected with my mentor, Chris, who's one of the coaches. Uh -huh. He's really great at what he does. So I really feel like if you could come up with some questions, ask him and really get a feel for what we do, because you're already kind of doing the closing thing, get a feel for what it's like on this side. And he can basically map out a customized plan for you and see the exact steps to get you there in that six month time frame. And regardless of what you decide to do, you'll have a game plan and you'll be clear on what you need to do to stop dealing with your boss and all his negativity of not even trying to let you help when all you wanna do is try to help him get more money, put more money in his pocket. So does that sound good? Yeah, sounds great. Okay. So I have Chris's calendar open right now. Um, Alex, do you have time around 2 p.m. or 5 p.m.? I'm sorry. Uh, what time zone are you in? I'm in Eastern time. Um, so I'm in Pacific Standard Time. Okay. So that will be three hours. Ew. Would 12 p.m. be good for you tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I can make that work. Okay, cool. So I'm going to set up a calendar invite. And could you do me two favors? 
What's up? Okay, so first I'm going to send you a short video. It's going to be about 10 to 12 minutes. And it's going to go over in depth everything about remote closing. And I want you to get a pen and paper out when you do it. Okay. So okay. also, if your wife is around, have her try to watch with you so that if you have any questions or she has any questions, when you get on your call with Chris, you'll be able to load him up with questions so that when you do go over and come up with your plan together, he'll know exactly what's going on and he'll have it as a right fit for you. Okay. And also, if you don't mind, I'm going to send you a firm request because I'm pretty sure you're going to end up working with us because you really want to get out of there. But <laughs> so, and we're, we're going right, to be so able to keep in touch. Just so you know, I don't accept firm requests from people I don't know. But if you want to oh, okay. Facebook, we could be in communication that way. That's fine. Oh, okay. All right. Well, cool. I'll send you a message that way we can be able to still communicate then. Cool. Sounds good. And, you know, before your call and after your call, that way we can we can still be able to communicate. And then, you know, if you have any questions about what what you need or you think of anything else that you want to ask me before you actually talk to Chris, you can just send me a quick message, okay? Okay, cool. And just to make sure, did you get the email yet? Uh, yeah, I got it. Okay, so if you don't mind, could you, uh, sorry, totally lost my train of thought there. <laughs> but could you um, click the invite for me? Yeah. Just so okay. his, okay. Cool. I did it, already RCP, <coughs> we're good to go. Cool, cool. So is there any reason that you might need to cancel or reschedule? How would I know that right now? Not sure how you would know right now. Me either. That sounds like a pretty dumb question. Might want to that avoid asking sound, that in the future. That is, that does sound like a dumb question. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is. What am I, a fucking right. secret? I can read into the future? That's the dumbest shit I've heard in my life. Uh, okay, we're, we're, we're going to try to eliminate that. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, hey, I have to go. Hey, um, good job. I'll give you voice. I'll give you a voice message on feedback later on today. And um, let's have another call, okay? Okay, cool. Thanks. You're welcome. Take care. Bye.